Do you want to get ahead in your career? Then this video is for you. Hello and welcome. My name is Peter B and I welcome you here at My First Million, where we are achieving our financial goals together. Yes, if you want to get ahead in your career, then this is the right video for you. I am leading the MIS team in the, my current employer. So, and in the current situation, I am hiring one person for an open position. And whilst I'm doing that, I came across this YouTube short video from Alex Hamosi. And I think he just hit the nail on his head and exactly pointed out what people need to take into consideration if they want to get promoted internally or in other words, having a career within a company without the need of changing to another company. So let's just take a quick look into Alex's video. Every employee can have the perspective of a business owner where you are a business of one and you have one customer, which is the business that you work with and they are your customer. And so you provide services to the business in exchange for money. The same value equation of speed, ease, risk, and exceeding expectations are still used just like making a product when delivering a service to anyone. And so if you want to be a great employee, can you do the thing that you're doing faster than other people or faster than they expect? Can you make the risk that you fuck it up lower than they would otherwise expect? Can you make it easier? for everyone else who works around you and your boss to get work from you or work with you. And then finally, is the final product of the thing match or exceed what they asked you to do? If you do those things, you will always get the promotions and you will always move up in the company because you will give them proof that you are better than everyone else based on value. Wasn't that video great? So as someone having a career as an employee, so being employed by myself, I'm trying to have a career in a company and as someone hiring people for open positions, I believe this video is very helpful for everyone who wants to get ahead in their career and especially get ahead within a company. And I believe Alex was right on point with his evaluation of the situation. If you're employed or like me, I'm also employed. I am basically providing a service to my employer. So the expectations there, the expectations that I do my job, maybe not just doing my job, but also do my job well. And over time, if you do, are doing a great job in your position, you will build up a reputation within the company. So gradually, of course, this might not be happening between today and tomorrow. This will take some time. But if you are able to do a great job and build up a reputation within the company that you are in, then you are naturally a candidate for any job openings within the company. So next time when there is a job opening and you have a great reputation and you are applying for this job within the company, then you are likely to take into consideration for this job. This of course doesn't guarantee you that you get the job, but you have a high likelihood. Just like in my current job opening, I have internal applications and external applications. And unless one of the external applications is really outstanding, I most likely will give it to an internal person, especially because some of the internal applications that I got are from people that have built up this high reputation. So even if you are employed, still think like a business owner that you are selling a service to your employer. That will help a lot. And I have another caveat that you also might take into consideration and that help you to really evaluate your performance. Have you ever calculated on how much your company is spending on you for the time that you are within the company? How much is your salary each day or maybe even each hour? Once you know that, you can ask yourself, are you really worth that money? Of course, not every job is very easy and tangible to calculate whether or not you're worth the money, but at least it gives you a good idea. So whenever you think about your performance, what have you done the last hour, or at least what have you done the last working day, 
Think about what you have you performed for the company. And then you know the value for it. How much is the company paying for the service that you are providing? And you can then evaluate if you are the business owner of this company. Would you have paid someone in this position this amount of money for this performance? I think this is a good exercise to think about from time to time. Are you performing well? Please share with us your take on this topic in the comments below. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And especially, I look forward to seeing you winning financially.